Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Yasmin Ibrahim. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, their Majesties and Highnesses, the leaders of the Gulf Cooperation Council, His Majesty the King of Jordan, the President of Egypt, and the Prime Minister of Iraq, the President of the United States of America, in the Jeddah Summit for Security and Development, which was held today at the King Abdullah International Conference Center in Jeddah. His Majesty the King delivered the following speech. الآن أعطي الكلمة لصاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى الخليفة ملك مملكة البحرين الشقيقة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أخي صاحب السمو الملك الأمير محمد بن سلمان أصحاب الجلالة والفخامة والسمو السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته يسرنا بداية أن نعرب عن تهانينا القلبية لخادم الحرمين الشريفين الملك سلمان بن عبد العزيز آل سعود عاهل المملكة العربية السعودية الشقيقة على النجاح المتميز لموسم الحج لهذا العام معربين عن خالص الشكر والامتنان على دعوته الكريمة لهذه القمة الاستثنائية التي تمثل فرصة طيبة لتوثيق علاقات الصداقة التاريخية وتكريس الشراكة الاستراتيجية بين دولنا والولايات المتحدة الأمريكية الصديقة بقيادة فخامة الرئيس جو بايدن وتدارس الحلول لتحقيق السلام والتنمية لكافة شعوب الشرق الأوسط بمواجهة مشتركة للتحديات التي تهدد الاستقرار الإقليمي والأمن والسلم الدوليين والمصالح العالمية إن منطقة الشرق الأوسط ذات المكانة الاستراتيجية الدولية المهمة عانت على مدى سنوات ولا تزال من ظروف سياسية وأمنية واقتصادية صعبة وتحديات بالغة الخطورة الأمر الذي يتطلب منا تفكيرا متزنا وعميقا لكيفية الخروج من الأزمات والصراعات الدائرة وفي مقدمتها القضية الفلسطينية التي لا بد من حلها بتسوية عادلة ودائمة وإقامة الدولة الفلسطينية المستقلة وفقا لحل الدولتين ومبادرة السلام العربية وخلق الفرص الاقتصادية الواعدة والمستدامة للشعب الفلسطيني الشقيق ومشاركته الفعلية في تنمية شاملة الأبعاد كما تم عرضه في مخرجات ورشة السلام من أجل الإزدهار التي عقدت في مملكة البحرين في عام 2019 إضافة إلى ضرورة التوصل إلى تسوية سياسية للأزمة اليمنية ومواصلة الدعم الإنساني والتنموي للشعب اليمني ويبقى التدخل المباشر في الشؤون الداخلية للدول من ضمن أخطر التحديات القائمة إذ يخل بالمبادئ والحقوق المكفولة بالقوانين الدولية وقد آن الأوان لتوحيد الجهود لوقف مثل هذه التدخلات احتراما لسيادة الدول وقيمها الدينية والثقافية ونهجها الحضاري في احترام الآخر والتسامح والتعايش السلمي على وعلى مواصلة الجهود المشتركة لجعل الشرق الأوسط منطقة خالية من أسلحة الدمار الشامل ومحاربة الإرهاب والفكر المتعصب وتنظيمات المتطرفة الخارجة عن القانون إن الحفاظ على الأمن والاستقرار الإقليمي يستدعي منا التعاون والتضامن والعمل المشترك الفاعل تلبية لتطلعات شعوبنا نحو السلام والنماء والازدهار وفي هذا السياق نؤكد على أهمية استمرارية عمل القوات البحرية المشتركة وتفعيل قوات واجب مشتركة إضافية بالنظر 
إلى دورها المحوري في حماية الملاحة الدولية وتأمين إمدادات النفط والتجارة العالمية عبر مضيق هرمز وباب المندب ونقدر عاليا التعاون المثمر والبناء بين قواتنا البحرية الباسلة والأسطول الخامس للبحرية الأمريكية لما يزيد عن 75 عاما من مملكة البحرين وعلى هذا الصعيد فأننا نؤكد على أهمية المزيد من الدعم للجهود الرامية لاستقرار أسعار الطاقة العالمية بما في ذلك زيادة الاستثمارات لتوسعة الاستكشاف والتكرير وإدخال التقنيات الجديدة التي تسهم في دعم النمو الاقتصادي العالمي ومواجهة تضخم الأسعار ولا نقفل هنا عن ضرورة تشجيع جميع مبادرات تصدير الحبوب والقمح وغيرها لتأمين وصولها للأسواق العالمية وتفعيل مبادرات لدعم الدول المتضررة تحقيقا للأمن الغذائي إننا نتطلع بكل أمل وتفاؤل أن تسفر هذه القمة عن نتائج مثمرة ومخرجات بناءة تعزز مسار التعاون المشترك وترسخ علاقات الصداقة بين بلداننا لكي يمكننا من مواجهة التحديات السياسية والأمنية والاقتصادية والبيئية وإرساء الأمن والاستقرار ووضع مرتكزات علاقة وطيدة وممتدة تلبي متطلبات الحاضر والمستقبل نسأل الله أن يوفقنا جميعا لما فيه الخير والصلاح لدولنا وشعوبنا والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته The Jeddah Summit for Security and Development was inaugurated by the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. In his opening speech, the Saudi Crown Prince stressed the importance of this summit in unifying opinions, discussing issues of common interest and deepening the strategic partnership. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia, pointed to the need to deal realistically and responsibly to face environmental challenges and climate changes. He also pointed out the importance of developing comprehensive frameworks to start a new phase that serves all parties. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa in Jeddah today met with His Excellency the President of the United States Joseph Biden on the sidelines of the participation in the Jeddah Summit for Security and Development. During the meeting, His Majesty the King commended the deep-rooted relations linking the two countries, which led to outstanding development and joint coordination in various fields. He noted that this led to reinforcing security and stability in the region and the world, considering that the two countries are strategic partners in supporting regional and international peace and security. His Majesty the King also noted that the participation of the American President in the Jeddah Summit for Security and Development represents the continuity of the American role in the reinforcing Gulf American cooperation and working together on various issues and challenges. His Majesty the King expressed thanks and appreciation to the U.S. President for his keenness to further support relations between the two countries and peoples. The meeting also discussed various issues of mutual interest and ways of further enhancing cooperation to reinforce regional security and stability in addition to the issues listed on the Jeddah Summit agenda.
His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa today received in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Kuwaiti Emir's representative and Crown Prince of the State of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Mish'al Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah, on the sidelines of the Jeddah Security and Development Summit. His Highness Sheikh Mish'al conveyed to His Majesty King Hamad greetings and appreciation from the Kuwaiti Emir, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah, as well as his wishes for further progress and prosperity to Bahrain and its people under His Majesty the King's leadership. His Majesty the King welcomed the Crown Prince of Kuwait and requested him to convey his greetings to His Highness the Emir of Kuwait as well as his wishes for abundant health to him and further progress and prosperity to the brotherly Kuwaiti people. His Majesty King Hamad expressed pride in the depth of the growing fraternal Bahraini-Kuwaiti relations, commending the major role played by His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed to strengthen bilateral relations and enhance joint GCC and Arab action. His Majesty the King and the Crown Crown Prince of Kuwait affirmed constant keenness to increase mechanisms of joint cooperation across various fields to better serve the interests of the two brotherly peoples. They also discussed the latest regional and global developments in addition to issues of mutual interest. The Crown Prince of the State of Kuwait expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamad. He also expressed his pride in His Majesty King Hamad's efforts to enhance joint cooperation and strengthen the Bahraini-Kuwaiti relations. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa met today with the Emir of Qatar, His Highness Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani on the sidelines of the Jeddah Security and Development Summit. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa today received in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Prime Minister of Iraq, Mustafa Al Qadmi, on the sidelines of the Jeddah Security and Development Summit. His Majesty the King and Prime Minister Al Qadmi reviewed the solid brotherly relations between Bahrain and Iraq, in addition to ways to enhance cooperation between them at all levels. They also discussed the latest regional and global issues of mutual interest. His Majesty the King lauded the deep rooted relations between the two countries countries and their brotherly peoples, affirming Bahrain's support for Iraq's efforts to safeguard its security and stability in order to achieve its brotherly people's aspirations for more progress and prosperity. Iraqi Prime Minister expressed sincere thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for His Majesty's keenness to enhance relations between the two brotherly countries as well as for Bahrain's authentic Arab stances. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa attended the lunch banquet held by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. The banquet was held in honor of Their Majesties and Highnesses, the leaders of the Gulf Cooperation Summit, His Majesty the King of the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan, His Excellency the President of the Arab Republic of Egypt, His Excellency the President of the Republic of Iraq, and His Excellency the President of the United States in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman Al Khalifa on the occasion of the Jeddah Summit for Security and Development held in Jeddah. After that, His Majesty the King bid farewell to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. His Majesty also bid farewell to Their Majesties and Highnesses, the leaders of the Gulf Cooperation Summit, His Majesty the King of the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan, His Excellency the President of the Arab Republic of Egypt. His Excellency the President of the Republic of Iraq. His Majesty commended the outstanding efforts towards the success of the summit in the service of the security, stability and development of the region and for the prosperity of its countries and people. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa arrived in Saudi Arabia earlier today to lead the delegation of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the Jeddah Summit for Security and Development in response to an invitation from the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. His Majesty the King was welcomed by the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. An honorary mission was formed to accompany His Majesty the King, headed by the Saudi Minister of 
of National Guard, His Royal Highness Prince Abdullah bin Bender bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. On arrival, His Majesty King Hamad made a statement in which he expressed utmost pride in the solid, long-standing relations between the two countries and their brotherly peoples, as well as in the existing bonds of cordiality, appreciation and respect between them. His Majesty the King expressed his deepest thanks and appreciation to King Salman bin Abdulaziz for inviting him to the Jeddah Security and Development Summit. His Majesty King Hamad affirmed that the important summit provides an opportunity to strengthen the strategic partnership between our brotherly countries and friendly USA in order to open up new horizons for joint cooperation across various vital fields, confront challenges to the region, consolidate joint efforts to safeguard regional security and stability, defend global interests and achieve the aspirations of the region's peoples for peace, development and prosperity. His Majesty the King hailed the effective and vital role played by Saudi Arabia, led by the custodian of the two holy mosques at the regional and international levels, citing its dedicated and constant endeavors to deepen rapprochement between GCC states and their allied and friendly countries, strengthen the pillars of regional and global security, stability and peace, expressing hope that the summit will contribute to achieving the aspirations of the peoples of the participating countries for more security, peace, progress and prosperity. A convoy of honor led by the Saudi National Guard Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Abdullah bin Bender bin Abdulaziz Al Saudi, was formed to accompany His Majesty the King during his participation in the summit. Earlier in the day, His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa left the country for Saudi Arabia to lead the Kingdom's delegation to the Jeddah Security and Development Summit. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today arrived in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia to attend the Jeddah Security and Development Summit. His Royal Highness was welcomed by the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, Bahrain's Ambassador to Saudi Arabia, Sheikh Ali bin Abdurrahman bin Ali Al Khalifa, Head of the Diplomatic Mission of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and a number of senior officials. President of the United Arab Emirates, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, met with the U.S. President Joe Biden on the sidelines of the Jeddah Summit for Security and Development in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. During the meeting, the President of the United Arab Emirates stressed the importance of building bridges and building a strong relationship between the two countries. The U.S. President called on his Emirati counterpart to pay an official visit to Washington. President of the United Arab Emirates, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, met in Jeddah the Crown Prince of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Mish'al Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah. During the meeting, they discussed brotherly relations between the two countries and ways to develop them to serve the interests of their countries and peoples and enhance joint Gulf action. The two sides also exchanged views on a number of issues and developments of concern to the two countries. And UAE President, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan also met in Jeddah the Prime Minister of Iraq, Dr. Mustafa Al Qadmi. During the meeting, they discussed brotherly relations between the two countries and ways to strengthen and develop them in various fields to achieve their common interests. The two sides also reviewed cooperation and joint coordination in a number of development, economic and investment sectors and opportunities for their development. 
President of the United States of America, Joe Biden, met with the Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi on the sidelines of the Jeddah Summit for Security and Development. During the meeting, the U.S. President affirmed the U.S. Administration's aspiration to activating the frameworks of joint bilateral cooperation and enhancing coordination and strategic consultation between the two friendly countries and developing them during the next stage, especially in light of the pivotal, pivotal Egyptian role in the Middle East region. For his part, the Egyptian president affirmed his country's keenness to strengthen and strengthen the distinguished partnership relations between the two friendly countries, pointing to the importance of the role of that partnership in promoting peace and stability in the Middle East region. The U.S. President Joe Biden also met with the Prime Minister of Iraq, Dr. Mustafa al qadami During the meeting, the two sides affirmed their mutual commitment to the strong bilateral partnership between the two countries in accordance with the Strategic Framework Agreement and their determination to proceed with security coordination to ensure that the terrorist organization ISIS does not return. The two sides agreed that the relationship between Iraq and the United States is based on common interests, strengthening Iraq's sovereignty, territory integrity, security and stability and a commitment to strengthening the bilateral partnership in a manner that would benefit in the interest of both countries. They also stressed the importance of forming a new Iraqi government that responds to the will of the Iraqi people. Secretary General of the Gulf Cooperation Council, Dr. Naif al Hajraf, stressed the importance of conveying the Jeddah Summit for security and development, praising the initiative of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques and his crown prince. The Secretary General stressed the summit represents a regional and international platform for addressing security files, challenges, areas of development, and aspirations, and to integrate efforts towards enhancing stability and prosperity in the region and the world. Al Hajraf stressed the GCC's beliefs in constructive and pivotal role as a basic pillar of security and stability in the region and as a leading model for comprehensive development and a partner towards the future by strengthening its position and presence on the regional and international arenas. The GCC Secretary General expressed his aspiration that the Jeddah Summit for Security and Development would represent the start of a new phase based on a common understanding of dealing with the challenges of security and stability and collective work for a cooperation in the areas of development and prosperity to achieve common goals and build the future. Based on the Royal Directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa to provide urgent humanitarian relief aid to help the Afghan people in the areas affected by the earthquake that struck Afghanistan, that the Royal Humanitarian Foundation, headed by the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad al-Khalifa, is tasked with overseeing this humanitarian aid, the Royal Humanitarian Foundation and the United Nations High Commission Commissioner for Refugees signed an agreement to provide humanitarian aid to support relief efforts in areas affected by the earthquake that struck Afghanistan, where a delegation from the Royal Institution for Humanitarian Action will visit the affected areas in Afghanistan to distribute relief materials to the affected people. On the occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa expressed gratitude to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Honorary President of the Royal Humanitarian Foundation, for His Majesty's continuous humanitarian initiatives in helping brothers and friends and providing relief to the affli afflicted and extended a helping hand to the needy in various parts of the world, which comes within the Kingdom of Bahrain's endeavors to consolidate international solidarity, proceeding from the fraternal and humanitarian ties that bring together the various peoples of the world. His Highness praised the great support that the Foundation receives from the government, headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, stressing that the Royal Foundation Foundation for Humanitarian Action is honored to implement directives, His Majesty the King. For his part, Representative of the United Nations, as commission, High Commissioner for Refugees in the Gulf Cooperation Council, and advisor to the High Commissioner for Islamic Finance, Khalid Khalifa, pressed the pioneering humanitarian role, which is reflected in the rapid response of the Royal Humanitarian Foundation to the urgent and urgent needs of the relief for the Afghan people and its readiness to provide the grant urgently. The necessary grant is an example of a true humanitarian humanitarian partnership which is represented in providing aid wherever needed.
As part of the continuation of the joint coordination efforts between the two ministries to provide infrastructure services for housing projects and cities in the Kingdom of Bahrain, Minister of Works Ibrahim bin Hassan Al Hawaj met with the Minister of Housing and Urban Planning, Amna bint Ahmed Al Rumehi. They reviewed the plans aimed at linking the Khalifa City project to the main world network sewage and rainwater network, according to the general plan for the implementation of the city. During the meeting, Al Hawaj affirmed that the Ministry of works attaches great importance to the new housing city projects as it works to develop infrastructure services in line with the rapid urban development and to meet the needs and aspirations of citizens through service and development projects and to accelerate the pace of work in order to achieve integration between service ministries. The Minister of Housing praised the efforts of the Ministry of Works in implementing development projects in the various governors of the kingdom which supplement the comprehensive development process with more gains. She said that linking Khalifa City to the main infrastructure networks would serve the city's residents and support the efforts of the Ministry of Housing and Urban Planning in implementing the city's future construction stages, thus contributing to the implementation of the objectives related to the social housing sector in accordance with the government program and Bahrain's Economic Vision 2030. The Minister of Sustainable Development, Noor bint Ali Al Khalif, held joint discussions with the delegations of the UAE, Egypt and Jordan. The meetings were held on the sidelines of her participation in the high-profile political forum on sustainable development in New York. The Minister of Sustainable Development where they met with the Director General of the UAE Prime Minister's Office, Deputy Chairman of the National Committee for Sustainable Development Goals, Abdullah Nasser Ruta. She stressed the significance of boosting cooperation with the GCC, member states in terms of exchanging experiences and developing capabilities to meet the goals of the Comprehensive Development March and Bahrain Economic Vision 2030. The Minister of Sustainable Development also met with the Egyptian Minister of Planning and Economic Development, Dr. Hal Al Said. She stressed deep historical relations between the two brotherly countries and common keenness on further enhancing bilateral relations in various fields. And the Minister of Sustainable Development wet, met with the Jordanian Minister of Planning and International Cooperation, Nasser and discussed with him joint cooperation in the field of sustainable development. Saudi Crown Prince and Deputy Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz and the President of the United States, Joe Biden, held official talks at Al Salam Palace in Jeddah today. His Royal Highness, the Saudi Crown Prince and the U.S. President also chaired an expanded meeting for the two sides. During the official talks, session and the expanded meeting, the historical friendship relations between the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and the United States of America were reviewed aspects of cooperation between the two countries in a number of fields were discussed and ways to confront challenges in the region and the world were discussed.